Spotify here with Isaiah Thomas. All right, well, first off, has your family been able to join you here in the city yet? Yeah, they're actually, my kids are on spring break this week, so they, they, they've been here all week. Um, and they actually came the first week I was here too, so, you know, anytime we can, we can get some good weather, they always leave Seattle. Speaking of that, being in your old stopping grounds here in Phoenix, what's that been like? It's been everything. Like it's 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 been a it's been a dope experience. Just because I'm I'm familiar with everything around here, so it feels like, you know, I've been here before. Obviously, I have, but it just feels different this time around. And I'm just super thankful for the opportunity. Everybody's welcomed me in with open arms, and you know, I can't thank everybody enough. How do you feel like you've been settling into the roster here? Um, it's been easy. I mean, I, I think the the most important thing is the respect factor that everybody gives me. Um, from each and everybody on the team and I think that makes it easy. That's half the battle when they obviously know who you are but they, they show you love and respect. Um, it makes it easy to come to work and then obviously me being able to just be a leader in the locker room, being a voice in the locker room, the guys respond to that so it, it, it makes things easier. I'm just you know doing everything I can to possibly help each and every day. Well, the playoffs are around the corner and the West is tight as it always is. What do you think the team is at right now going into the postseason? Um, we got some good momentum. You know, we control our own destiny for the most part. Take it day by day, game by game, and then just, you know, worry about the things that we can control. That's bringing our energy and effort each and every day. And just making sure we're prepared and ready for each and every opponent as, you know, every game the rest of the season against the playoff team. So it's going to be tough, but... We're, we're one of the better teams in the league, and I think we're ready for it. Now, the Final Four is here in Phoenix. Unfortunately, it's the last season for the Pac-12. When you think back to your Pac-10 days, what memories come to mind? Just all the legendary people that, that played before me. Um, I could name off so many that was at the University of Washington, but also just in, in the Pac-10, you know, we got legendary college players that turned and becoming legendary pros, so it's like, it sucks this is the last year of the Pac-12, but um, we've had some legendary years, and I'm super thankful to be able to participate in the Pac-10. I wasn't a Pac-12 kid, but <laughs> I, yeah. I, I can say that I was, I was. we won the championship in the last year of the Pac-10. So You're part of the good. history. Yes, exactly, exactly. Forever now. So we mentioned a little bit about the food. We do have a food segment called Eats with Eliov. Yeah. I got to know, what are some of those local spots you got to hit when you come back to Phoenix? Um, I mean, I'm gonna just keep it easy right across the street, State 44. That's always a go-to. The best. Um, um, they got Nobu. Nobu's a good, good one for the family. They got so many options around here that like, each and every day we trying to find something new. We yeah. trying to find yeah. something new that, that we can fall in love with and then just be a regular at.